hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about stationary wave in air column in order to understand the stationary wave in, in air column there are two different categories uh, these are divided in these two categories one is a pipe which is open from both sides in which the nodes and anti nodes are produced the anti nodes produced uh, due to open end because the air column cannot restrict in the open ends and uh, anti nodes are produced on the corners and nodes is produced in the center in other case when one end is closed and one and one end is open of the pipe and uh, when air molecules travel they restrict or they uh, they are restricted in the region of closed surface in this way uh, anti node is produced on the open end and the node is produced in the closed end and uh, in this pipe you can see that one end is open and one end is closed in the previous video i have discussed about the pipe which is open on both sides but in this video i will discuss about the uh, pipe in which or i will discuss about the case in which uh, one pipe one side is closed and one side is open in which we will discuss about frequency velocity and wavelength of the uh, wave in addition I have as you see uh, this is a pipe in which one end is closed and one end is open the nodes are produced in the uh, closer point and the uh, anti nodes are produced in the close in the open points so in order to understand this uh, we need to calculate the length in the form of wavelength of the pipe so length of the pipe is can be considered as lambda in lambda by 4 because because it is the fourth part of the wavelength or fourth part of the complete wave in order to understand this i i have made the one wavelength of wave or sinusoidal wave in which when we divide it it will be lambda by 2 but we are dealing with half of the uh, half wavelength it will be lambda by 4 portion every portion is lambda divided into lambda by 4 and we are dealing with only lambda by 4 portion or fourth portion of the wavelength so uh, the total length of this pipe is equal to lambda by 4 we are dealing with mode 1 so L is equal to lambda 1 by 4 in order to understand the value of frequency furthermore we know the well formula uh, of uh, velocity is equal to F lambda so lambda 1 is equal to 4 L and F is V is equal to F into lambda we want to calculate the value of frequency with this for the mode 1 so V is equal to F1 lambda 1 so f1 can be extracted from this expression which is f1 is equal to v over lambda 1 we want we know the value of lambda 1 which is 4l we will put the value in this expression of the frequency f1 is equal to v over 4l so this is the expression for mode 1 and you can put this expression in the entry test uh, because you are asked that what is the value of frequency when length is given and velocity is given for the pipe which is closed for one end in this case but in the previously we have mentioned that when the pipe is open on both sides the frequency or fundamental frequency will be v over 2l you need to differentiate between these two cases furthermore i will also discuss about the case when uh, the pipe is closed in one end but there are different uh, nodes are produced in this the when the region in the region when pipe is closed nodes are produced and the peak point anti nodes are produced then in the middle point nodes are produced and then anti nodes are produced so this is a case when nodes and anti nodes are produced in this region we need to first of all we need to calculate the value of length of the whole region value of length can be calculated and i will divide all the region in this section and this section denoted as uh, L is equal to lambda by 2 and this section is denoted as L is equal to lambda by 4 so in order to calculate the complete length the we will add these two lengths in the form of wavelength L is equal to lambda by 4 plus lambda by 2 so we will take the LCM of this term or this expression the LCM will be 4 and uh, we, we need to calculate or our purpose is to calculate the value of length with respect to wavelength so the LCM is lambda by 4, LCM is 4 and lambda plus 2 lambda is the upper term. So 
total value is 3 lambda by 4 and the length of this region or this pipe is equal to l is equal to 3 lambda by 4 in order to calculate because we are dealing with mode 3 because three regions are involved in this region so l is equal to 3 into lambda by 3 3 lambda 3 by 4 so we want to calculate the value of lambda 3 with respect to length so it will be 4 l over 3 in this expression furthermore i will discuss about the value of velocity with respect to frequency v is equal to f lambda we know the formula f lambda so we are dealing with mode 3 so velocity is equal to f3 multiplied by lambda 3 so we will add the subscript value of 3 because of mode 3 so we know the value of lambda 3 we will put the value here and we will calculate the value of frequency with for mode 3 f3 is equal to v over lambda 3 and we will put the value of lambda 3 in this expression so f3 is equal to uh, v over lambda 3 and lambda 3 is given here so f3 com comes to v over 4l over 3 so then 3 can be goes to the upper side it will be 3 into v over 4l 3 into v over 4l and this is the value of frequency and we want to relate with the frequency with the fundamental frequency in order to understand their behavior so f3 can be represented in the form of f1 so we will put this expression uh, again and in order to understand you the value of f1 can also be written here f1 is equal to v over 4 into l so in uh, as you see in these two terms only three value or three number is extra number so we will uh, we will separate this number f3 is equal to 3 into v over 4 l because v over 4 l is common is in given in these both terms so v over 4 l can be replaced by f1 and we will put the value here and our goal is to find out the relationship between the fundamental frequency and mode of third third mode frequency so f3 is equal to 3 into v over 4 l can be replaced by f1 f3 is equal to 3 f1 from this expression we have known that uh, f3 is equal to 3 f1 or f5 is equal to 5 f1 and so on because the, f the subscript n or a subscript number can be represented from the uh, modes of the vibration or mode of, the mode of the wave so n is equal to 1 3 5 7 9 can be given and we, we can generalize the formula fn is equal to n f1 by applying the value of 1 3 5 because we are dealing with mode or we are dealing with a case of pipe which is closed for one end and closed and open for other end in the air column so uh, we have discussed two types here one type is open on both end and other type is closed on one end up till now we have finished about the fundamental frequencies of a stationary wave having the air column of two types St uh, open in both hands and close in both hands if you like my video you can subscribe my channel for more videos or if you have any question you can contact me at my email address we will see you in the next video bye bye